Professor Thomas Sederholm from Uppsala University and Karolinska University Hospital in Sweden. I will briefly guide you through the GLIM criteria for diagnosis of malnutrition. The joint action, the Global Leadership Initiative on Malnutrition, was started 2016 with the obvious concern and objective to bring the, major, the four major uh, global clinical nutrition societies, ESPEN, ASPEN, Felampe and Pensa, together with the ambition to come up with the global consensus. Representative working groups were constituted that met during the ASPEN and the ESPEN meetings all together five times. Potential criteria for malnutrition were retrieved from the major existing tools for screening and diagnosis. The working group selected five criteria by a ballot, by face-to-face -face discussions and email communications. Three phenotypical and two etiological criteria were decided. They were weight loss, low body mass index, reduced muscle mass as the phenotypical criteria, and reduced food intake and increased disease burden as reflected by inflammation. One of each type, meaning that at least one phenotypical criterion and at least one etiological criterion is proposed to be required for the diagnosis. Threshold values for each criterion were decided to reflect suggested values from previous tools. The degree of aberration in the phenotypical criteria, weight loss, body mass index, and muscle mass, is suggested to be the basis for severity grading into severe or moderate malnutrition. Etiologies are suggested to guide the treatment. And finally, this, this diagnostic format and the threshold values are suggested to be reconsidered regularly every three to five years, meaning that the GLIM format is expected to be a continuous process ready for updates based on emerging evidence and continuous discussions. Many thanks.